This is the tragic story of one of the most iconic cameras released by Olympus in 1991. This is the story of the Olympus Ecru. Designed by Naoki Sakai and his famous Japanese design studio, Water Design, the Olympus Ecru is certainly a unique camera. They called it the Ecru, a French word that according to Google, it means raw. In the Ecru's user manual, Olympus chose to define this word as unprocessed, which turns out to be a bit ironic since the Ecru is just a more processed version of two other Olympus cameras. The old product, which Sakai and his team took the inspiration for the body, and one of Olympus' most successful point-and-shoot cameras, the famous Olympus MU for the internal and the brains. The Olympus Ecru is a simple point-and-shoot camera wrapped in a very unique body designed by a celebrity studio made to generate interest. And it did. Like its predecessor, the Ecru's 20,000 units sold out fast. That off-white body of the Ecru was starting to make headlines, appearing on the covers of some of the best camera magazines from that time. When I first looked at the Ecru from a photographer's perspective, I had a lot of questions. The symmetrical body, the flat face, the sharp edges made no sense to me. The Ecru didn't look like a traditional film camera. In fact, it didn't even look like a futuristic camera either. It was just something in between. From the lack of settings for more manual controls to that pale plastic body, this camera was neither pure form nor pure function. Now, despite the lack of ergonomic design, the Ecru takes some really nice photos. The Ecru is an entirely automated compact 35mm film camera. It's fitted with a 35mm prime lens composed of three elements. With a maximum aperture of f3.5, the shutter sits directly behind the lens and exposes film through automatically selected speeds between 1 15th of a second to 1 500th of a second. Focus is handled automatically via an active infrared beam system. It has an optical viewfinder with focus and flash ready lights. The lens is sharp in most cases. There is no way of controlling this of course. So the only way we can really influence our final shot is by selecting the right film. Slower speed film should force the camera to shoot wider while faster film will theoretically give sharper frames due to a more narrow aperture. Now here is where the Ecru starts to fall apart. For a point and shoot camera, the Olympus Ecru was super difficult to hold. The ergonomics of this camera was a nightmare for any run and gun shooter. And this is definitely not a one handed camera unless you like to take risk. Holding the Olympus Ecru's for long periods of time, it's almost an extreme sport in itself. The awkward placement of your fingers will usually result in one of two things. One, your thumb on the back of the camera will end up blocking the viewfinder, or one of your fingers will intrude into the frame. Now, let's just briefly talk about the shutter button. It works just like any other camera, 
you half press to lock on the exposure and you full press to take the shot. Simple, right? Except the physical button on this camera are super narrow, any thinner and these buttons may even pass as knives. With two other small buttons on top of the camera, one that controls the three different flash modes and the other one for self timer. These buttons are also super small and narrow. They sit perfectly flush on top of the camera, making it very hard to feel if you have pressed the button or not. Now, let's talk about the worst thing about this camera. Well, in my personal experience, and that is the on and off switch in the front. I feel this button placement is just super weird. I don't know if the designers just kind of forgot about it or just didn't find another good place to put it. I feel this button being in the front is just kind of weird. Also, the sound when you turn on the camera is a little less than satisfying and that is why this button is as confusing as the rest of the body. So, overall, is the Olympus Ecru for you? It's kind of hard to think of a practical reason to own one. I feel this is more of a collector's camera more than an everyday point and shoot. Although it does work well with very little to no effort, but there are many other cameras out there that can effectively and more comfortably do the same thing. But for the Olympus collector or the general camera collector, there is a strong argument for owning one of these. For camera nerds like myself, especially ones that actually value design and uniqueness, the Olympus Ecru is a must have camera. That's why I'm gonna keep it and I'm just gonna place it back there in my little shelf. If I ever do want to take photos with it, I know that it's going to be a pain in the ass, but they're going to come out with some pretty decent photos. Now, here are some other things that I kind of found interesting about this camera. One of the main things is the actual lens cap. Is this little mirror looking square with rubbering inside. Now, it's kind of flimsy and I feel this is something that you can probably lose very easily. Uh, another cool thing about this camera is that you just put the film in and the camera does everything else by itself. Once you've taken all of your shots, the camera will automatically rewind so you can take your film cartridge out, which is pretty cool. It's pretty much automatics from the time you put the film in there to the time you take it out to go take it developed. Now, another thing is that it's very easy to use. It doesn't have very many controls. Like I mentioned in this video, it's basically just a shutter button and your flash modes. So there is no shutter controls, there is no aperture controls. Everything is going to be based on the type of film that you buy. Despite the fact that it was kind of hard to hold and kind of a pain in the ass to shoot with, but I feel it does take very nice photos and it's gonna look pretty nice in my little shelf back there and uh, it can just now become as part of my set. That's gonna be pretty much it for this week's video guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Please hit the like button. That really helps out a lot. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. Make sure you hit and smash the notification bell so you guys can get notified for future videos and and you guys be safe out there i'll see you guys next week miss you miss you Bye. Saturday night, baby. You know it. All right, here we go.